In the last video, we built our very first motor for my 1993 EG hatch build. This is a thousand plus capable block. We went from checking the tolerances, measuring everything out, popping in the crank, and for a first time engine builder, this process was quite terrifying, but we finally got to spin her over and everything worked. But now for the next step is building our $15,000 train. Well, here is the stock five-speed all-wheel drive trans from the CRV that we are going to be building for the all-wheel drive Honda. Now, first off, we need to go ahead and get all of the accessory stuff removed off of here. Like I mentioned, we already have most of, actually all of the bell housing bolts removed as I got those zinc plated, but we need to go through, get the clutch fork out, get the gear selector out, and then we can start separating this case. But as we all know, it's not taking it apart that's challenging, it's getting it put back together properly. There we go. Now with that bolt removed, this should slide out of here. Oh, that's so weird. Look inside here, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see. There is our gear set. This is kind of fun as I have never torn apart a transmission, yet alone build a transmission before. So this is my first time learning here. Later on in today's video as well, you guys are gonna see a buddy, Brian of mine, the person that does all the powder coating work for us, Dark Matter Coatings. He's gonna be coming over and helping me get this gear set put together. He has a windowed case already so we can make sure that everything works properly before we put it into the car and destroy a $15,000 trans. So he's built plenty of trans before. He's gonna help guide me, make sure that we get this thing built properly. Here's half my axle. <laughs> oh shit, that was a mistake. Under this bolt here is going to be the ring that holds our counter shaft together. So when we go to separate this case, we need to make sure that we have the ring opened up. We have, so we have to hold that open while we separate the case and then we should be able to pull it right off. So we need to grab one of these fancy tools here. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> All right, well. Oh, there you go, yeah. That was sealed on there, but we just broke that loose. There we go. Whoa. It was just a little friction-y on there. This is so cool. Now, I have absolutely zero knowledge when it comes to transmission, so I, truthfully, I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at, but that's why I'm excited to make this video. I get to learn, hopefully, along with you guys as well. So I'm not quite sure what any of this stuff is. I'm assuming over on this side, it looks like this is where the gear selector would be. It looks like this is where all like the points are for this. But yeah, I'm gonna learn along with you guys on this video as we build ourselves a very badass dog box for this thing. Oh, there we go. Oh, what? Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. There's our, that's all, oh, this is so cool. I think these are called our selector forks, if I'm not mistaken. And then, here's our input shaft. This is what goes to your Uh, we have all new bearings, but that was a little rookie mistake right there. All right, guys, well, we made it over to our good friend, uh, Brian, over at Dark Matter Coatings, who's going to be helping us build our PPG gear set for our Honda. Laid out in front of us, we have the full one through four um, straight cut dog box, and then we are going to be retaining a stock fifth. 
That way, if we're ever cruising, we have a nice gear we can engage. We have our LSD. We are using an M factory. And then he also went through and vapor blasted my cases, which look absolutely amazing rather than powder coating. But we're gonna go ahead, jump through. I think we're gonna have to start disassembling our stock gear sets as we need to pull off the fifth gear and a few other miscellaneous parts as well. But start putting this thing together. Everything apart, everything splined. Oh, so it literally just separates like that. Well, here we go. Our stock output shaft is removed. This is the stock heli, 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 helical, hel helical, geez. And then here is our PPG straight cut one. And right now we are assembling the main shaft or better known as the input shaft. He is going through and attaching our one through four dog box straight cut gear. And then he's going to be throwing on our OEM fifth gear. So that way we have a nice cruising gear if we want to take this thing out on the weekends. Now we are going through and assembling our counter shaft, starting off with first gear. And as you can see, he starts spinning the gear to make sure that it is seated properly when he's pressing this down. Now this is where the time consuming part lies when assembling and building a transmission as we now have to go through and take down our measurements. That is what you guys are seeing us do here with our dial gauge. We have to ensure that we are getting the proper clearance needed to make sure that this trance has a nice and healthy life. Now this is a process that has to get repeated over and over again until you pull the proper clearance that you're looking for. In this case, we are unfortunately not able to get the proper clearance as we needed to overnight a shim, but we made our way over to assembling our diff. Now, while we wait for our new shim to come in, you can see Brian is throwing on his windowed case. And what this will allow us to do is ensure that our gear set is properly installed. It's still hitting the reverse. Oh, is, it? is yep. that that noise? Yep. That's why I have a wind. I guess you would hear it anyway, but. You would hear it, but it, it lets you see it. So. All the way in first. Oh, it's hitting that. You can see, yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, it's like just right against the teeth there. Not a big deal. That's why you have a windowed case. 100%. <laughs> Now, a few days later, we received our proper size shim, which you can see us installing right here. And then with this installed, we're gonna go ahead and throw this case back on to see if this thing works. Is that a second? Now you gotta get the dog something up. Mm -hmm. That's a second. Third, I think you see down here. Oh, that's so cool. That's fourth gear. That's fifth gear. Obviously when it's in the neutral positions, free floating, not near any of the gears. Here we go, guys. The trans is now complete. We have our full one through four uh, PPG dog box installed. One, two, three, four. And then we are retaining the stock fifth gear. We had to grind the reverse gear as it was hitting second gear. All of that is taken care of. We have the Honda bond around the mating surface. We're getting ready to throw on the case and then our trans will be complete. Once we seal this up, we have to make our way over to our transfer case as we have a PPG gear set going in this thing as well. Yeah. 
bolts it up. Yeah, now we need to get all the bolts. Let's get those things bolted up. The trans is complete. We're gonna go through the gears here. Um, wait, shit, what's first? Down. Nope. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you gotta spin it. One sec. <laughs> is that it? Yeah. Oh, first. So, so, to check, grab the input shaft, spin it, and then watch the diff. Is the diff turning? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, I see. So first. Second? Did it click over in a second? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's weird. And then. Three. Three. Four. Four. Nope. Oh, it goes the other way? Yep. Oh, five. Fifth. That's not all the way. <laughs> the Dude. <laughs> there we go. Reverse. Yeah. It's hard to test shift it. <laughs> it's hard to test shift these fucking things, dude. Huh. This is gonna be a loud trance, but I'm excited. She's all put together, guys. Now what we have to go through, like I mentioned, is go through our T case, take out the stock gear set, and replace it with our straight cut PPG gear set. Oh, is it just this plate that comes yeah. off? Simple enough, because it's literally just this, um, is it just this gear? Yep. That's it? Yep. This was $1,300? No, the, the other half in the fan. Oh. So it's at least two gears. I was going to say, this was $1,300? I mean, that was 700 This is 700 Oh my goodness. I don't even know what I paid for this thing. It's so damn expensive. And there we go, two bolts or three bolts. That's yeah. really all that a T case is. Yep. And then these are the hypoids that people upgrade. That's right here. Yeah, this gear okay. and that gear. These are the ones Good that are very expensive. Yeah, these are twenty five hundred bucks or three thousand bucks or yeah, something. Like two grand a piece. Or for the hypoids. Now for you guys wondering that maybe a built haunted before, I am not upgrading my hypoids. I was told I don't need to. Some people are telling me I'm gonna regret it, but for the meantime, these things are gonna be stock, and if I do end up grading this, we'll go ahead and pull it out and put a full billet. I mean, like, the baddest key case you can put in this thing, but I'm hoping this should be good for now. And there we go, we have the straight cut gear on, and then the helical, is that right to yep. pronounce it? This is the factory gear. Looks the same, but it's straight cut, and they wanna charge 800 bucks for this. All right, guys, well, there we go. We have made it back to my shop with the built transmission. I could not be more excited because now, we can get this motor and trans installed in the car. You guys are gonna see in the next video, it's kind of all backwards of how the, these videos are coming out as I was waiting on parts for the trans, I was waiting parts for the motor. But here's a little sneak peek of what the motor looks like. We have some very fancy billet parts going on here, but the motor is ready to go in, minus like the oil pan, the valve cover, and then our trans, obviously, this thing is built and ready to go. But I could not be more excited. Huge, huge, huge thank you to Brian over at Dark Matter Coatings. If you guys need any powder coat work done, make sure to check him out. They do fantastic work, and he was able to help me get this trans built. When I say help, he really did take the lead and do everything for us. But I sat back and I learned a ton with this trans. So if anything were to happen, I would be very confident into taking this thing apart and rebuilding it myself. But sometimes it's just important to sit back and learn. Had a great time. I didn't want to go into someone else's workspace and try to like waste their time and learn. That is why this video is also completely different than any video I've ever filmed before. As you guys are probably noticing in this video, there is a lot of voiceover. Um, that is because copyright and music. I'm not going to go into someone's workspace and tell them they can't listen to music for hours on end. So let me know what you guys think about this video. If the voiceovers is something you guys like, I'm sure I need to improve on them a ton, but it's always good to try something new. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm getting so excited to see this car come together as our motor is done, our trans is done. Very shortly here, we're gonna have the motor trans in the car because this thing is scheduled to go back to fab to get a full custom turbo kit from our boys over at Strayed Fabrication, which I'm so beyond excited for. My turbo just showed up. We should have everything ready to get that thing sent over. Introducing my all-wheel drive K-swapped EG hatch build.